Well, we received a rather terse letter from a viewer last week about feeding birds in the backyard. Calling herself a regular viewer, she commented that just letting you know how stupid that empty <laughs> bird feeder looks on your patio and has looked that way for over a month now. Invest in real food, people. <laughs> well, honestly, we're not really quite sure what she's referring to. We hope she's watching today because we will say that that feeder is always filled, which actually kind of led to us wondering, do we really need to feed birds in the summertime? So we've got the man who knows almost everything there is to know about birds. UW Professor Emeritus Stan Temple is back with us today. Nice to see you, Stan. Good to see you again. I'm glad you're in town. You're busy traveling. <laughs> I am recently. busy this year, yeah. Well, let's start there. Should you feed your birds in the summertime? Well, it's no different than the winter. The birds don't need the food. They can do just fine on their own. But if you want to watch the birds and you want to make life a little easier for them, it's a good idea to continue feeding them year round. It's you, different in the summer though than it is in the winter. Mm -hmm. um, during the summer, birds are raising their babies, which means they're not as interested in the things that we normally feed them. Mm -hmm. They're after insects to give their young the proteins and minerals that they need to, to grow up. Oh, okay, so that's what I was gonna ask. Do you need to feed more or less than during the summer? Or but differently. If, or just differently. Well. It, What's different about the summer really is that there is risks that you don't have in the winter. In the winter, it's cold. Things like mold and fungus and bacteria that can cause problems for birds reproduce fast in the summer, which means you have to keep your bird feeders clean, keep your bird bath, the water in the bird bath change frequently. If you're feeding hummingbirds, change the nectar in the hummingbird feeder every couple of days. What special visitors are we seeing at this time of the year in the backyard? Well, a totally different suite of birds than you see in the winter. The juncos and northern finches are, of course, all gone. And in their place are some of the summer specialties, like hummingbirds that most people mm -hmm. really want to have uh, around their, their house. Mm -hmm. This is some cardinals that our producer Steve shot in his backyard. Ooh, yeah. They're beautiful. And they're, of course, here year-round, so uh, they'll take advantage of the feeder anytime there's food available. Wow. Okay, so I'm not a real big bird expert, so I have a question. Would it be foolish to put something like bugs or something in a bird feeder? Because you said that sometimes they're looking for bugs. I mean, I always see seed or like, you know, yeah. sugar water, but I'm asking well, the, maybe a silly question. No, I think right? that's a good No, it's a good question. The parent birds will continue to feed on the seeds. But while they're, for those few weeks that they're raising their babies, they're really not going to be coming to the feeder as often because they're out looking for, for insects. But some people are particularly fond of particularly bluebirds. And if you go to the pet food stores, they will generally sell mealworms. Mm. And some people will actually put out feeders with mealworms. No. So so that the bluebird, bluebirds especially, everyone okay. loves bluebirds. They're probably everyone's favorite. Uh, and once they find a source of mealworms, you know, you'll have regular visitors. We have to take a, yeah. take a field trip, go gonna, get some mealworms. <laughs> We're going to have to put them in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, good to see you. Thanks for coming in tonight. It's You're always welcome. great to see you.